Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode in the series Photoshop CS5 Extended How To. And in this How To, we're going to be creating a YouTube channel background for the 2012 channel layout. At least this should be the new channel design. And I also like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who waited on episode 5. If you haven't seen it, you can click here and you can wait if you want more um, series or more in-depth stuff so let me get this off and then we can get started on this so what I decided on doing is instead of um, sort of show you a general layout and uh, a general talk through of how to create a YouTube channel background what I'm going to do is actually create one and then you guys can sort of see the workflow and how I do things and sort of implement new things in your own way so what I've done is I made this channel layout just for the sake of this tutorial that you guys can follow along and this is what we're going to be creating or something similar okay and this layer right here is the basically the template that I'll be giving away for you guys and a link should be down in the description that you can download and then you can follow along with this tutorial pretty easily so let me just close this off <coughs> sorry so once you open up the template it should look something like this or very similar to this actually you're gonna look exactly the same as this because I'll save it like so and it will look exactly the same as this one so I'll just show you what's in here, what's in the template and how you can change things. So as you can tell we got two layer groups, we got the background and the channel block. What you need to pay attention to is the channel block because that is basically all this, okay? The background is we just got one layer in here with the gradient overlay to it just so you can just so there's something on the background that makes our channel block stand out okay so if you open up the channel block folder as you can see we've got three layers in here and one of them is called base reference which is this with the red line around it and as you can tell there's a two pixel stroke or maybe a one pixel stroke so if I hide all these you see what I'm talking about this is basically your channel block so what's going to happen that everything outside this red line that goes around your channel block is gonna be seen okay everything else inside this red line is gonna be hidden by your channel so basically the only space that you have is this side and that side and a very little tiny bit on the top okay and then within here I also got a main tab which is this right here and if I just get up um, Chrome for you I can show you what that is um, I'll just go on YouTube go to my channel so if I just zoom in a bit more as you can tell this box around here is the same as this red box okay and this grey box inside here is this so where you got your search bar your videos feed and featured whereas that little space I was talking about is right here so it's just enough space to put a tiny text in there or maybe tiny icons or your tiny logo or something um, decorative or a text like I did here and as you can tell on my channel because I'm not a partner yet I use most of the space on the, space on the sides whereas if you're a, uh, a partner you get a big banner on the top where you can put most of your designs but because I'm not and probably most of you are not I'll be making this tutorial to be a non-partner one alright and obviously you'll be using this side and that side another thing that I have in here is the featured tab alright 
and the reason why I put that there is because um, if you open your feature tab this is where most people are going to come to alright and if you have a look it cuts off around here so you can't um, you can't design put your design all the way down here on the bottom and your logos and all that because if they go on your feature tab and you don't have loads of playlists displayed and all that they'll only see about this much of your design alright so the first thing you want to do once you open this is get your rulers up by control R and ooh, not like this but you want to get your rulers up and if I just move this up because I messed it up um, like so so the first thing you want to do is grab your ruler and pull it down to about to about down here alright and this is all the space that you're going to be using or you should be using because if someone goes on the feature tab right here they'll only see this much of your channel background anyway okay so it's a very important thing to keep in mind whereas if they go on your videos tab or what so it's obviously a bit longer or if they go on your feed tab it gets extended again alright and this is where our template cuts off alright so you can you can increase that if you want it to if you go to image canvas size you can increase the height of this to whatever you want to so you can increase it to 3000 pixels and then as you've seen here you're not gonna cut off like that but I'm not too fussed about that so I just left it okay so that's enough of the talking and what's in the template and we can get started so I'm just gonna hide my rulers because I don't really need them for now um, the first thing you should really start off doing is your background okay so what I normally do is just have a gradient overlay on that layer like this one so first thing you want to do is decide what sort of a color theme you want to go for I want to go for a sort of this dark grey so I'm just going to keep it as it is so this is going to be my basic background color but one my issue with this is that it looks fairly boring if I just left it um, plain grey so instead of leaving play, leaving it plain grey I'm just going to add a texture to it so i got a texture right down here if I just open it up this texture I'll probably add this in the um, description as well so you guys can use it as you can tell this is my um, texture that I'll be using so I'll just pop it in here and I'm going to change the layer style to um, whichever looks best I'll probably use um, overlay because that normally does the job and now as you can tell I sort of got a, a texture to it but I still I still don't really like it so I might change out um, different layer styles and see how they work they might let, make it look cooler whenever you add the texture to a gradient you might want to play around with these um, layer styles and see whatever turns out the best or whichever you like the most but I think I would just I would just go with overlay and turn the opacity down a little bit because it's a bit too a bit too strong so I'm just going to turn the opacity to 65% and now I have my background sorted it's still a bit dark around here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to adjust my I'm just going to adjust my gradient so I want this to be a bit completely dark and um, the lighter bit a tiny bit lighter like so and now what I want to do is I want to get this little glow out a bit further out so the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to increase the scale of my gradient to about 125% or so 
120%. They should do it. And now I got a nice sort of delay around here. But another thing I want to adjust is I will also adjust the black to make it a tiny bit less dark, maybe a tiny bit darker. Right, that should do. It. I like this. Right, so now I got my background sorted. We're going to start putting our logos and all that sort on it, and that should be in the second part of this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this tutorial. Be sure you like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.